Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the Microsoft Visual Studio C++ error you might be getting that you're going to be missing the msvcp100.dll file. So this is a somewhat common error I seems that people are experiencing. And I've made a somewhat similar tutorial to this a couple of years ago. However, I just was notified this morning that one of my sources for the DL file is no longer a free service and they actually require you to get a demo. So I'm going to have to go through some of my other videos and see if anything else has to be changed to address that because I don't do any of those kind of things on this channel. Everything is usually pretty straightforward and free. But in today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys, hopefully, a quick workaround for this. So I actually already have the link open in Microsoft Edge, just getting right down to it. So there's going to be two different downloads you could select. I have the 32-bit version already up on the screen because this virtual machine is a 32-bit system. And there will be a 64-bit link in the description of this video as well for most people who would be running across this error as well because most people are using 64-bit capable computers nowadays. So anyway, I could not find the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable package through a Microsoft domain. So for the purpose of this tutorial, it should work for most of you guys regardless. So we're going to download the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 version, which should still be compatible for your Windows 10 device, even though it might not say underneath system requirements, Windows 10 is listed here. You should not have to worry about that. It should work on Windows 10 as well. So we're just going to go through the process of quickly downloading and installing it, and we should be on our way. So just as you would with any normal download, you want to select the correct language. And then you select download right here, this orange button. It's going to ask you what you want to do with this file and depending on what web browser you're using it might look a little bit different. Since I'm on Edge and Internet Explorer will look very similar. I'm just going to select save. It's only about 5 megabytes. And once it's finished downloading I'm going to run that file and I'm going to accept the user account control window. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to select yes here. And at this point, we can minimize out of our web browser if we haven't already done so. So once you're done reading through the end user license agreement, you click on this little box here. And then I'm going to select install at the bottom of this dialog window. And it should take a moment, so just be patient. It should not take very long, though. And once it's done, it should say installation is complete. It says the redistributable has been installed. So then at this point, you can click on finish. I would recommend restarting your computer and then try and run whatever program you're experiencing this DLL error with and hopefully the problem has been resolved for you. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.